Morena? Ah, yes. Morena, everyone. Uh, good morning. Is everyone still half asleep? Um, so we've been asked to share our testimony at CAS and what it's been like for us. And um, I'm going to start us off. So coming from Australia, I actually felt very anxious moving away from my immediate family in order to receive education here in New Zealand. I was amazed at how well I was received by my classmates and surprised to find how multicultural CAS actually was. One thing that stands out to me and still does at CAS is the teachers. And one story I have to testify to this is um, in Fiji, we went on a service trip. And Mrs. C was like our mother, our second mother away from home. And she was actually quite amazing. I got sick. I started vomiting, heat stroke. And anything that could possibly go wrong pretty much did. The only thing that didn't happen was I wasn't buried. Like, um, a lot of things went wrong. But Mrs. C was the mother, and Mr. Cresco was like a father, and so was the Lings, Mr. and Mrs. Ling, um, on the trip. And honestly, it was amazing because I was sleeping like by the wall, and let's just say, like the school hall, if I was sleeping here, there was like people lying down from this end to that end. I started off a chain reaction, and everyone got sick and caught my bug, pretty much. Mrs. C looked after every single person who got sick, to the point where she got sick herself. She hid it from us, we didn't even know. Like, she hit it, and then we saw her one night. She was vomiting out in the bathrooms, and we're like, Miss, 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 are you okay? Obviously, she's not vomiting all her dinner out. And um, the, the professionals, the ladies um, from the village came out, and they pulled together some herbal concoction, and she actually felt better the very next day. So praise God for that. But it's amazing to the extent how Mrs. C, she could have chosen to like, you know, take it easy, but she literally s s sat by our bedside until we got better. So it's, yeah, the extent of it. And that's only like one story, but you haven't got all day. So, <laughs> but the people at CAS make CAS what it is. And I've learned many valuable lessons from both teachers and students alike. I'm proud to be representing a school with values that were not just created, but also applied. I pray that God continues to work in the teachers for their wisdom, their patience, the students, and knowledge. And for the students, I pray that they are still eager to learn, they remain eager to learn, sorry, um, open to advice, and stay happy and comfortable in their environment. As a year 13 student, I believe I will reflect at my experience on CAS as a positive as a positive, memorable, and learning one, certainly not one to forget. Good morning, church. Um, my name is Cookie, and um, also I'm going to be sharing a testimony. Um, I started at CAS um, 2008, and I didn't feel that I was a stranger at the beginning. That's a good thing about CAS. It's such a small school, but then we feel that everybody is our family. No one will, if you go walk down the hallway, everybody would be smiling at you, waving at you, or like talking to you. Um, so I feel like we are a good community, a good family. And um, also for camps, sometimes we have camps and it's like mixed level, not just year 13 or not just year 12 or any other, or any other levels. We mix it, but then you don't feel that there's like a gap between our levels. Um, we feel like we are still like what I said, a, a family. So that's a really good thing about CAS. And also um, the teachers helps you a lot. Since it's a small school, there's only like a few of you in the... Um, in a classroom, especially for our year 13 level, we really need the teacher's help as much as we can. And um, the teachers are always there to support us, even though they, uh, um, even sometimes they take time off or like after school, just there to like help you with what you need to do and to help you achieve what you want to achieve. And they actually push you to the best of your ability. Good morning, church, um, and good morning, Cass. Um, my name is Debbie, for those who don't know me, and I'm eight, I am just turned 18 two months ago. And um, I don't really prepare anything for today, 
So please bear with me and um, yeah. Um, I started at CAS last year, the beginning of last year, and that that part was really like nerve wracking to me because I thought that s since because I moved from Auckland to Christchurch and I thought Christchurch was like more of a higher standard in education than in Auckland. And I was really scared that everyone would like judge me at school because of my, um, my looks and how low my grades were back in Auckland. So um, ever since I moved to Christchurch, I felt more comfortable and more more <laughs> happy. I felt like I was at home again. Cass really welcomed, gave me a really warm welcome when I came, when I started at Cass, and um, all the teachers that were there um, were previous teachers at my old school, especially um, my principal, Mr. Carrasco. He was principal at ASDA, which is Auckland Seventh-day Adventist High School. And um, comparing, comparing um, ASDA to Cass, it's way different. Am I right, William? Yeah. It's completely different. Cass is way, it's smaller, but it feels like you're more like family. It feels really tight and everyone is, everyone's t everyone is more social than in ASDA. In ASDA, yeah, it's really, people there are, are really close, but not as much as, as Cass is. And I didn't know that Cass was a really, they're really into the edu education compared to ASDA. ASDA is just, uh, but <laughs> Cass is, <laughs> when, when I heard of study periods, I was like, what? You guys have study periods here? I was like, oh, we have full on classes in, in ASDA and it's pretty tense, no one does. <laughs> uh, yeah, but. We, my, me and my family th have been through so much growing up in New Zealand and the struggle is real. <laughs> uh, God has shown us so many things in life and he, we didn't come here by accident, he led us here. And to every single one of you that think that you're worthless, you're not. You're perfect in God's eyes, and I ask you guys to please encourage um, those that are in doubt or that feel worthless, encourage them, because Jesus wants, Jesus told all his disciples to encourage everyone else to love one another. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so God bless, and... Love you all, man. Good morning, church. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Harley Thurgood, and I'm a year 12 at Cass. I had the privilege on May 16th of 2009 to be baptized by your pastor, Pastor Ben Ray, when he was the chaplain at Cass. At that baptism, we had people like Ben Ray and Mr. Crasco both speaking at it. And they both said the same thing. They were pretty much comparing Riley and I to James and John, and kept saying, sons of thunder. At the time, I was only 12, though, so I thought maybe he was thinking my loud voice or something. But when I rejoined at Cass two years ago, it was pretty obvious to everyone what it meant. Last year, I had a couple bad choices and was very confrontational to people about it. And yeah, I wouldn't step down to anyone. And if I was at any other school, they would have just brushed me under the rug and let me finish my education and get out. But not at Cass. At Cass, the teachers pray for you and teach you more than just the subject they're delegated to. They work on your character. So am I this perfect person? No, but God is working through me each and every day through Cass. So I would just like to thank the teachers, the school, and of course, Mr. Carrasco for always being there for me. Thank you. 